Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to my garage. It seems a long time since I've done a, a wee video in the garage. Uh, the good weather's here. We've been out riding the bikes, as you could probably see from some of the videos I've been putting up. Uh, but today, I was have got a wee, one wee update to do on the mighty Bonneville. This is potentially a bit controversial because the bike looks fantastic. When I got this bike, um, I'll put some, a picture up of what it looked like, um, but it, basically the back mud guard, the back tail light wasn't like that. I had a tail tidy on it and different lights, different indicators, a small alloy front mud guard, uh, which and it had, actually had lower bars as well, um, make it more kind of cafe racer and stylish. And, but personally, I wasn't too ha happy with that. But one of the beauties of this bike, when I bought it, it did actually come with all the original mud guards and things. So I could just take them off and put it back to, maybe not quite standard, but near enough standard. Another controversial issue has been basically not even the brass filler cap. I've heard a lot of people in the comments on the video saying, oh, get rid of that brass cap, it just looks terrible. Uh, and in some ways I tend to agree, but one of the bits I actually don't like about this filler cap is it's actually filling it. When you actually go look down inside, it's got such a, a narrow opening because basically this screws into the original screw thread on the top of the tank. And when you're actually at a filling station, you're putting it in, it's quite difficult to actually get the nozzle, nozzle properly in. And you can't really see when you're filling it to see if it's full. And sometimes if you don't put the nozzle in properly, you get a bit of splash back on it. So although it's looks quite trick and I, quite, I like the idea of a Monza cap, it's quite period uh, as well. It's, I don't find it works very well when you're actually filling it up. And so that was kind of controversial and sometimes bits, some of the kind of brass work on the, the bike as well, which has got brass accents all over the gear lever, the carb tops, choke lever, and some finishers on suspension, etc. All kind of brass. Um, and when I did actually get the bike, there was wee brass screws on the handlebars, there was brass screws on the, the, the windscreen, and then and, and the mounts for the speedo and things. It was, there was a, too much brass on it, to be honest. It, it, the, the previous owner had kind of went a wee bit crazy with that. Um, and there's also brass uh, quick release screws on the back as well for the seat. Um, so I kind of thought, well, you know, I'm going to get rid of the brass filler cap. I don't like it. And then, well, basically, um, through watching Stuart Fillingham's uh, recent video, he was, what was he doing? Oh, he's putting small indicators on his Triumph Bobber. But he put up a, a discount code from Motown. So I went and had a wee look at Motones. I thought, you know, I'm going to get rid of all the brass on this bike. Because I don't really think it enhances it. And I'm going to replace the brass parts with some other parts. And so this is what I've basically bought. I've bought new black and, and etched uh, carb tops, a standard filler cap Triumph filler cap, black seat fixings, black uh, finishers for the suspension, an alloy gear change lever, um, different oil filler cap, and side panel screws. And this whole set, I think, will enhance the look of the bike. I really think if this had been, bike had been jet black, and having a jet black bike with gold accents, I would have looked excellent. But I think that between the blue and the white and the chrome and the black and then the gold, it's just, it's just too much. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to strip all the, chrome, the, the brass off and replace it with those new parts. And hopefully it'll transform the look of the bike. So anyway, I'm not going to bore you with any fittings because they're all just 
screw or unscrew and screw some new bits on. It's not difficult at all. But we'll come back later once I've made the transformation and we'll see if it's been worth it or not. <laughs> okay, so we'll catch you in a wee while. Welcome back. Here's all the parts we've taken off the bike. All the brass bits. <laughs> they all look remarkably similar, just a different colour. Uh, yeah. And what does the bike look like now? It's been transformed. Well, here you have it. The new chrome filler cap on the top, which is a standard Triumph part. So much better. You can get a much clearer access to the petrol tank. You can see to, to fill it up much, much easier. Uh, yeah, all the, the brass has gone. New carb tops, choke lever, new gear lever, new uh, side casing holders. The back end's been tidied up nicely in here. You don't really see the, the seat bolts the same. It looks much cleaner. You don't have these two brass pieces to coming out. And equally, if you take the cover off, if you're running without that, they still sit in really quite neat, whereas other ones were quite long and just stuck out there. They were horrible. Uh, the advantage of these ones as well is they've got uh, Allen screws, so you can actually tighten it with a key rather than just relying on your thumb pressure. So that's really nice. There's a couple of screws at the side that hold that on. So that's cleaned the back up really nicely. Around this side, again, we've got the suspension uh, finishers on there because they were brass on top of that. The another side casing cover, another cover for that carb as well, and the oil filler that's been replaced as well. So that's it. There's nothing really brass left on the bike. And personally, I think it looks really, it's not as blingy as it was, because it was quite a blingy bike, but I think it's much nicer and it was much more subtle. Um, I mean, I couldn't just replace the standard car tops and things because they didn't actually come with the bike, so I didn't have them anyway. So uh, there was no point in trying to buy standard bits when I could buy nicer bits. So on the whole, I'm really quite pleased with the, the results. I think it's, the bike looks pretty darn good now. And I think once she's out in the sunshine, it'll look even better. It's much more me, it's much more subtle. Oh, and another uh, note as well. If you remember back to a previous video, I had the SW uh, Motec, the wee side bags put on here, which I've found them to be fantastic. They just clip off and on. They're just so easy to use. They're brilliant. It's no strapping anything on the bike. It's absolutely terrific. Um, but what I did find sometimes was when I was out, it just lacked a wee bit of space. So, I went out and I bought a kit for the other side as well. Another rack and another bag for this side. So, yeah, so it's now, it's down balanced up and I've got twice the carrying capacity. Um, and I know I'm going up north in a few weeks time with a friend of mine and his Bonneville as well. So between the bits and pieces I can carry in here, I'll not, I'll be, not be putting the, this on, but I'll have a wee Lomo bag just strapped across the back. So between the Lomo bag and these two side bags, plenty of carrying capacity. And it looks really, really neat. Another wee addition I made was to, because it didn't come with any carrying handles, but just through a bit of uh, electrical uh, sheathing and some cable ties. I made some wee, wee grab handles and they're great because they can just pull the bags off quite easily.
So, yeah, I'm happy with the improvements I've made to the bike. I think it looks great now. I think she's, she's a beautiful bike to ride. Really, really good. I'm absolutely over the moon with it. I love riding it. She's so smooth. She's got plenty enough power. She goes well. As with regards to the brass pieces I'm taking off, well, I'm going to put them all onto eBay. <laughs> so at the end of the day, potentially this wee upgrade, which is how I see it, won't really have cost me very much money at all. Anyway, that's my wee update to the, the Bonneville story. Um, probably the next time you see the Bonneville will be in a few weeks' time when I'm up north with my friend Davy. We were doing some touring up north for a few days on the two Bonnevilles, which will be fun. I'm really looking forward to that one. Anyway, for now, take care, ride safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>